Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to multiply by one digit numbers. At the end of this video, you will have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. In this lesson, we will multiply multi-digit numbers by a one-digit number. We will heavily rely on quick and accurate recall of basic multiplication facts. We will first estimate the answers or products. We will also refer to place value when going through the steps of multiplication. Remember, the place value chart starts at the right with the ones, moves on to the tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. First, let's take a look at a problem that requires us to multiply by a one-digit number and estimate the product. Remember, we are estimating first to get an idea of how much our answer will be. This can be used as a checking tool once we actually solve. Our problem reads 2,743 times 8. We will need to round 2,743 to the nearest thousand in order to make it a number we can easily work with to get an estimate. If the question allows for it, rounding to the largest place value is always a good idea. It allows us to turn all other place values to zero, and zeros are friendly to work with. Notice that 2,743 is sandwiched between 2,000 and 3,000. If we visualize this number on a number line, we can see that 2,743 is closer to 3,000. Therefore, we will round it to 3,000 and then multiply to get an estimate. When we multiply 3,000 by 8, we get a product of 24,000. Now, when we move on to actually solving, our answer should be close to 24,000. This can help us decide if our actual answer is reasonable or not. Another way to round would be to write out the number 2,743. And since we are aiming to round to the nearest thousand, we will circle the number in the thousands place. Now, we will underline the digit in the hundreds place to the right. This digit is a seven. We will follow the rule. If the digit to the right is five or more, we will round the circle digit up. If the digit is four or less, we would leave the circle digit alone. Looking at our example, our digit to the right seven is more than five, so we will round the two in the thousands place to a three. Just like when we use the number line to round, we will still change the other place values to zeros because they are friendly to work with. Now that we have an estimate for our problem, let's go through the steps to solve to get the actual answer. Anytime we are multiplying by numbers larger than basic facts, we will want to line the numbers up vertically if they are originally in horizontal form even if the numbers have the same amount of digits. It is a good idea to always put the larger number on top. It is also important to line up the place values correctly. In this case, we will put the eight under the three in the larger number because they are both in the ones place. This does not seem to matter much now, but it is important when we move into even larger numbers later. Now that our numbers are lined up correctly, our first step is to multiply the ones. We know that the basic fact eight times three is 24. In order to put 24 into our problem, we will put the four in the ones and regroup the two tens, writing the number two on top of the tens place. The second step is to now multiply the tens. We know from our basic fact that four times eight is 32. Before we can move on, we need to add the two regrouped tens to our answer of 32, making it 34. We will need to write the four in the tens place and regroup the three hundreds. The next step is to multiply the hundreds. We know from our basic fact that eight times seven is 56. Remember, before we move on, we will have to add the three regrouped hundreds to 56, making it 59. We will write the nine in the hundreds place in our answer and regroup the five thousands. 
Lastly, we will multiply our thousands place using the basic fact 8 times 2, which is 16. Just like the other place values, we will need to add the regrouped thousands. When we add 5 to 16, we get a total of 21 thousands for this place value. Because it is the last place value, we will write the whole 21 in our answer because there is no more regrouping needed. Now, before we say we have completed the problem, it is important to refer back to the estimate we started with. If you remember, our estimate was 24,000 and our answer is 21,944. This is considered a reasonable estimate. It may seem like 24,000 and 21,944 are far from one another, but the larger the numbers you are working with, a larger span from the estimate to the actual answer is to be expected. Because we are working in the 10,000s, this proves our answer is reasonable. This problem shows that it is important to rely on what we know about place value when working through each step of the problem. It is also very important to always remember to add the regroup numbers to our answers before moving on to the next place value. A common error students may make when multiplying by one digit numbers is they may add the regroup numbers before multiplying instead of after. For example, in our problem we did, some students may have added the 2 to the 4 and then multiplied for an incorrect total of 48, instead of multiplying, then adding for 34. To address this issue, remind students that the regroup numbers are already part of the answer. They just need to be moved over a place value. This is why we add them at the end of that step. In our example, the two regroup tens are part of the product from multiplying 8 times 3. We would not multiply the 4 times 8, so why would we multiply the 2 times 8? The regroup tens are simply to be added to our tens total. Another time that students seem to encounter errors is when multiplying with zeros. For example, students may encounter a problem like this, and when multiplying the tens place, they may multiply the 4 by the regroup 10, which is 2, getting an answer of 8. The correct way to multiply by zeros is to multiply the basic fact and add the regroup number on, which would give you 2. For more practice with this skill, revisit the lessons, describe the relationship in place value positions, and understand place value of whole numbers. Because basic fact recall is so important with this skill, have students continue to practice their facts for accuracy and speed. This can be done through drills or just calling out problems at home or in the car. Remember to estimate first, then go back to the estimate to check to see if the answer is reasonable. Looking ahead, we will build upon this skill when we multiply by two digit numbers. To gain a full understanding of this concept, visit the lesson page to view the rest of the place value, multiplication, and expression set of lessons. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. <music>